there is one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, a unity of three co-eternal persons. Do you accept the death of Jesus Christ on Calvary as the atoning sacrifice for your sins and believe that through faith and in his shed blood you are saved from sin and its penalties? Do you renounce the world and its sinful ways and have you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, believing that God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven your sins and given uh, you a new heart? Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, your uh, intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving Christ-centered life in your home and before the world? Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word, the only rule of faith and practice for the Christian? Do you covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and in Bible study? Do you accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of His will? Is it your purpose by the power of the indwelling Christ to keep this law, including the Fourth Commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as the Sabbath of the Lord and the memorial of creation? Do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope when this mortal shall put on immortality? As you prepare to meet your Lord, do you uh, witness to his love and salvation by, and by life and word help others to be ready for his glorious appearing? Do you accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of, uh, gift of prophecy is one of the identified marks of the remnant church? Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to support the church by your tithes and offerings and by personal effort and influence? Do you believe that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful, abstaining from all unclean foods, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, the use, manufacture, or sale of tobacco in any of its forms for human consumption, and from the misuse of or trafficking in narcotics or other drugs? Better, better do this one. <laughs> do you uh, understand the fundamental Bible principles as thought by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will by ordering your life in harmony with these principles? Uh, penultimate. Uh, do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion? That's going on in the water and coming up and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and forgiveness of your sins? Okay. Last question. Do you accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is a remnant church of Bible prophecy and that people of every nation, every race, every language are invited and accepted into its fellowship? And do you desire to be a member of this All Nation Fellowship uh, Seventh Day Adventist Church. You have heard um, all of her um, accepting, acceptance of the vows. Um, would someone then please bring that we accept uh, Shakira Maxwell, J. Maxwell, 
as a member of the All Nation Fellowship Church subject to her baptism. Is there such a motion? So a motion. Is it seconded? Second. Second. Seconded. All in favor by the raising of the right hand. Amen. Amen. You want to look around when you find yourself in trouble. These are the people who you go to. Amen. I mean, these are your brothers and your sisters. I invite everybody to stand as we have a word of prayer. <coughs> Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for your mercy. We thank you for who you are, for what you have done in our lives, and especially in the life of Shakira. Lord, we love her so much that you lay down your life as a ransom for hers. Lord, she's saying today, I accept your sacrifice. This is the only way in which she or any of us can be saved, is that we accept you as our personal Lord and Savior. We thank you so much for Shahira. We thank you so much for her life, what her life has been, is, and will be in Christ. Amen. Bless her in a very special way. Guide her in a very special way. Be yes. not only with Shahira as a mom, as a wife, but be with her as a child of God. Amen. Everywhere she goes, let her to remember that she represents Jesus. Amen. Be with Brian. Be with Jeremiah, be with the rest of the family who are here to support her, her mom, grandma, and everybody who came lovingly here to support her. May they build an edge around her. And as a church family, may we also build an edge around her to help to, 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 to comfort when times <coughs> are low, to lift her up when she's feeling weak, and just to celebrate with her in those special moments. We pray now that you set aside the water for baptism. Bless us to this end, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay, ma'am, we're asking you to pray to Susha. Uh, at Deaconess, she will believe in you to In the meanwhile, we're going to ask our praise team uh, to go forward. We're going to sing a few songs. Uh, one of which is, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's vein. So let us plunge deep that blood and lose all of their guilty stains. <laughs> Do you have anything that you want to say to us through any 
everybody is down there. You want to say to my family, perhaps? Okay, she just want to thank everybody for their support. Okay, she just want to thank everybody for their support today. So my dear uh, sister Shakira, upon the profession of your faith, in Jesus Christ, because you really love the Lord and want to serve Him with all your heart, based upon the profession of your faith in Jesus Christ as a minister of the gospel. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the sweet and the blessed Holy Spirit. Let the Church of God say, Amen.